Uh, so we are in Boyle Abbey, um, so we've been taking a few days off while Ellie rests her foot um, and I actually live around Boyle so we decided to go in and check out the Abbey. Um, it's one of the best surviving Cistercian, well the church is one of the best surviving Cistercian churches, the Abbey itself is a little bit mangled but um, it's a Cistercian Abbey from 1161. 1161 um, and so yeah it's a big deal we're gonna check it out we have, big, we have four A4 sheets about the abbey right here so um, yeah just gonna look around see what you miss. And I think, in general, just a really well-preserved um, monastery in Ireland. Um, back when King Henry VIII of England was king, he decided that he was his own religion and then went around and kind of destroyed a lot of abbeys, which we've seen before or in pre previously in on the Tipperary Heritage Way. We passed two abbeys there. They had been um, Henry VIII-ified. Um, reformed. Reformed, yes, reformed. So after this was reformed, it became Boyle Castle. Um, and so a lot of it was edited or remodified quite heavily to become a barracks. Uh, apart from the church, the church is probably one of the only, like, true to how it originally was um, areas. But what's really amazing is, um, let me just get there. Okay, so this section of the abbey, um, when it became a castle, all of the arches were were filled in, and when they when they removed the stonework, um, they noticed that the arches themselves were kind of quite unstable. So they labelled every single block um, with a letter and a number, uh, dismantled the arches, put in a stronger foundation and some um, metal supports, and then rebuilt the arches exactly how um, they originally were, which is pretty amazing. You can still see some numbers and letters um, on some of the blocks. So it's an incredibly impressive um, restoration project, in my opinion. Family, part of our like was a big part of Cadbury's. Oh. It was called Fry Cadbury for a while. Weird.